On our last Cisco episode, we learned what is DHCP protocol, how does DHCP protocol operate, meaning DHCP protocol uses a process that we call DORA, whereby a DHCP client or host will send a discover message in the network looking for available DHCP server. And the available DHCP servers will reply by sending an offer message the first DHCP offer to reach our client or host will be accepted by sending a DHCP request from our client to our DHCP server. And if there's more than one DHCP server in the network, the rest will be declined. And the DHCP server will confirm the DHCP list parameters by sending an acknowledge message. That's how Dora operates. And last but not least, we also learn how to configure DHCP. We learned how to configure DHCP client, how to configure relay agent, and also how to configure DHCP server. So what happens if a less informed client or host brings a device that acts as all in one, meaning it can act as a router, a switch, DHCP server, and firewall, for example. What happens if he plugs that device in his little cubicle so that he can have extra ports? Or even worse, what happens if an attacker or a hacker tr tries to attack our network or DHCP server for his personal reasons? What do we do to protect our network against such attacks? In order to know that, watch this lesson up until the end because this is what we are discussing in this lesson or episode. Welcome to another exciting episode of Technology for All Academy, an academy that teaches information communication technology for free. To mention by the few, we have Cisco series and MicroTik series, and we'll be doing other vendor series in the future. For those who don't know me, my name is Tava Makobe, the founder of Technology for All Academy. In our lesson today, we'll be discussing the HCP snooping. We we'll learn what is DHCP snooping, attacks that can be performed against DHCP snooping or against our DHCP servers. We we'll learn how does DHCP snooping operate, and we'll also learn how to configure DHCP snooping. Without wasting time, what is DHCP snooping? DHCP snooping is a layer two security feature that protects our network from rogue DHCP servers. And how does it protect our network from rogue DHCP servers? It does that by filtering our DHCP messages. What we mean by layer 2 is that DHCP snooping is configured on switches. And by default, all ports will be untrusted when it is configured. We have to configure the ports connected to our legit DHCP server as trusted. But we only configure those that are in distribution and core layer, as they are protected against hosts or clients. And access layer ports will leave them as untrusted as they are accessible to hosts or clients. Meaning access layer ports connect to clients or host cubicles or offices. On access layer ports, what we can configure is rate limiting to protect against DHCP starvation or DHCP exhaustion attack. More on this later in this lesson. So, what does DHCP snooping protect against? It protects against DHCP starvation attack or exhaustion attack and DHCP poisoning attack which can be used to create a man in the middle attack. DHCP starvation is when an attacker uses spoofed MAC addresses to flood discover messages to the DHCP server, resulting on the targeted DHCP server becoming full which will result in denial of service for other devices in the network. And DHCP poisoning is when a rogue DHCP server leases DHCP parameters to DHCP clients and on those parameters that it lists, it will set itself as the default router. So any message that has been sent on the network will have to pass through the rogue DHCP and the attacker can analyze and 
modify messages as he wishes before he can forward them to their destination. These attacks can be achieved using Kali Linux tools such as Usenia and Etacap. Now, how does DHCP snooping operate? Its operation is based on types of messages received. If a DHCP message is received on trusted port, forward it as per normal. But if a DHCP message is received on untrusted port, act as follows. If it is a DHCP server message, discard or filter the message. And if it's a DHCP client message, perform the following checks. For discover and request message, check if the source map of the frame and the client hardware address in the DHCP message match. If they match, forward the message. If they don't match, discard the message. And to show you that, I have already captured some packet in my packet tracer. So let me open it. Okay. Let me go to my packet tracer and then we'll go to our discover message. So we have layer one, we have layer two, which is our frame. And then if I open layer two, as we can see, our source MAC address, it ends with one F B D. And then the layer three is our IP address and layer four is our transport layer. We have our source port as 68 and destination port as port 67. Then our DHCP data, it's here. Let me open it. This is our discover message. And then if I go down, we can see inside the discover message, we have client MAC address. Beneath it, we can see it's client hardware address PD. So inside the, the message itself, we also have the MAC address and it's also ending with 1FBD and as you can see on layer 2 it's also ending with 1FBD and those are the two fields that must correspond and if we had our DHCP snooping enabled the message was going to be forwarded but if there's a difference between layer 2 and our data then our message was going to be discarded and if i can open my command prompt and also show you for my ip config forward slash all command on my physical address you can see it's ending with 1fbd this is the machine that i'm working on okay let me close my command prompt and my wireshark and for release or decline messages Check if the source IP address and the receiving interface match the entry in the DHCP snooping table. If they match, forward the message. If they don't match, discard the message. When you have DHCP snooping enabled or configured, it will create a DHCP snooping binding, binding table. And for example, on my switch here, if this interface is forwarding a release message, saying that we no longer need our IP address. The switch will check the interface that forwarded that it received the message on and compare it with our entry in the DHCP snooping binding table. More on DHCP snooping binding table later when we do DHCP snooping configuration. Now it's time to learn how to configure DHCP snooping. We are going to use our network topology from our previous lessons such as DHCP configuration. If you don't know what DHCP is, I will suggest to start with DHCP simplified video or lesson. In our scenario today, we have Tabang who is a help desk operator. Tabang would like to advance his career path and he decided to follow or take ICT networking path and he is studying CCNA. Taban bought himself a nice Cisco router for his studies which he uses for his lab test and he enjoys his studies. He then decided to take his router to work so that he can see if it also worked in his cubicle on company network. Take note, make sure you know your company IT police as this is illegal in most companies. So without waste of time, let's see what is configured on Taban's router. Okay, let me open Taban's router. 
it's right then able and then I'll give the command show IP interface brief as we can see on Taban's router gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 it has been configured with IP address and it also been configured as uh, sub interfaces meaning Taban's router is acting as a router on a stick now let me give the command show run pipe begin DHCP it didn't take it because there's a typing error on my spelling I didn't spell begin right okay let's try it again show run pipe begin DHCP and as you can see on Taban's router we have excluded address which are from dot hundred to dot two five four on all villains and we can see the default router it's dot dot two which is on VLAN 1 is 10.10.1.2 VLAN 10 is 10.10.10.2 VLAN 20 is 10.10.20.2 now that we saw the configuration let's connect this router to the network okay gigabit 0 slash 0 and then I'll connect it to first ethernet 0 slash 6 after he connected this router to the company network he then decided to go to his computer and play with IP config release and IP config renew so that he can see if his router is also giving addresses to the clients. Let's open Taban's PC, go to desktop, and then I'll go to command prompt. And on command prompt, I'll give the command IP config forward slash all so that we can see the parameters that he has now. IP config forward slash all, enter, and and we can see that right now his IP address is 10.10.10.102 and the gateway is 10.10.10.1 now Taban decides to release the IP address and then renew it IP config forward slash release IP config forward slash renew and as we can see right now he got the IP address 10.10.10.6 and the gateway we can see now it's 10.10.10.2 which means Taban got these parameters from his own route and not the company network route now that we saw this the question is was there a way that the network administrator uh, would have stopped this before Taban could attempt doing it and the answer is yes to stop DHCP attacks you have to apply DHCP snooping on your network and I'm going to show you how to configure DHCP snooping let me minimize my command prompt and now we go to our access switch 0 let me open access switch 0 go to command line I'll enter the password 1 2 3 4 5 6 enter I'll give the command enable enter password 1 2 3 4 5 6 enter and let's give the command show IP DHCP snoopy enter and we can see that it says switch DHCP snooping is disabled meaning we have to enable it and once we, we enable DHCP snooping all the ports of a switch will be untrusted to enable DHCP snooping we have to go to our global configuration mode conf t and then the command is IP DHCP snooping this command will enable DHCP snooping globally we still have to enable it on a VLAN that we want it to work on and to enable it on a VLAN I'll give the command IP DHCP snooping VLAN 1 VLAN 1 10 and 20 enter and now let me give the command again show IP DHCP snooping but since we are on global configuration mode we have to start with a do okay I'll give the command do show IP DHCP snooping and as you can see it says DHCP snooping is enabled and DHCP snooping is configured on following VLANs VLAN 1, 10 and VLAN 20 and if you can go down a bit we can see there's a message here option 82 on untrusted port is not allowed and as we know when we enable DHCP snooping on our switch our ports will be untrusted so we also have to disable option 82 so that DHCP snooping can function properly okay and to do that I'll give the command 
no IP DHCP snooping information options and then I'll press enter and if we can give our command again we'll see that right now insertion of option 82 is disabled option 82 is an option for relay agent so our switch is not working as a relay agent and all the ports when you enable DHCP snooping will be untrusted and then the ones that connect to your DHCP server are the ones that you have to configure as trusted before I configure trusted port I would like to go to my client and try to list DHCP parameters I just want to show you that we won't get any DHCP parameters because of our ports are untrusted so all our DHCP messages will be discarded by the switch okay let me show you let me go to my client let me give the command ipconfig forward slash renew and as you can see we got the message DHCP request failed now let me go to my switch I've already configured multi-layer switch for DHCP snooping and our DHCP server is main building router right now let me go to my access zero switch press enter password one two three four five six enter enable password one two three four five six enter then I'll give the command show IP interface brief and then as you can see we have gig gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 is the interface that connects to our DHCP safe so I'll go to global configuration mode conf t and then interface gig 0 slash 1 enter then I'll give the command IP DHCP snooping trust now let's go back to our client and try to list DHCP parameters again IP config renew enter and then as you can see we've got our IP address which is 10.10.10.104 .10 .10 and default gateway is 10.10.10.1 .10 which is our legit DHCP server all DHCP messages that are transmitted to our rogue DHCP server will be discarded or dropped due to the fact that the port connected to the rogue DHCP server is untrusted now on our access layer, what we can do is to configure rate limiting. Rate limiting will help us against DHCP attacks such as DHCP starvation. Meaning if an attacker or a hacker manages to spoof both source MAC and client hardware address in order to flood our DHCP server with discover messages. Rate limiting will help us by disabling our port. Let me go back to our switch. And let's type do show IP DHCP snooping binding. Okay, let me maximize it. As you can see, these are all the clients that are logged on our DHCP snooping binding table. I'll go to interface range fast Ethernet 0 slash 7 to 10. Enter, and then I'll give the command IP DHCP snooping limit rate and I'll make it one step end and I'll type right to save my configuration okay now let me go to my client again I'll give the command IP config forward slash release and then I'll give renew and as you can see we got the message DHCP request failed is due to my read limit that I did of uh, one packet so let me go to my switch again so that I can show you you can see the message DHCP snooping received two DHCP packets on interface fast ethernet 0 slash 7 DHCP read limiting error detected on fast ethernet 0 slash 7 putting fast ethernet 0 slash 7 in error disabled state meaning our port has been disabled I'll give the command show IP interface brief and then as you can see first Ethernet 0 slash 7 status down protocol down there are two ways that you can use to enable our port 
we can use manual configuration whereby we apply the command shutdown and no shutdown. The second one is to use error disable recovery. But you won't be able to use error disable recovery in this lesson because of we are using packet tracer and packet tracer has limited commands and error disable recovery is one of the commands that are not included in the packet tracer. So without any waste of time, let me show you how to enable the port. Go to global configuration, enter and we'll go to interface pass ethernet 0 slash 7, enter. I'll give the command shutdown and no shutdown. Now let's give the command do show IP interface brief, enter. We'll see our interface is up. I hope this lesson was informative and you enjoyed it. And if you enjoyed the lesson, please share with someone you think will also benefit from it. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button so that when we upload another lesson or video, you get notified. With that, let me love and leave you. Have a blessed day. Thank you.